You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. All right, Black and White Sports supporters, let's talk about the Las Vegas Raiders. It's pretty clear the Raiders are in the quarterback market for this NFL draft. Question is. How aggressive are they going to get? I literally just dropped a video because there's winds blowing about the commanders at least heavily listening to trade offers for that number two pick. Now, there's certainly some lines to draw between uh, Antonio Pierce, who we know by nature is aggressive, and he has talked about a sense of urgency. He also loves Aiden O'Connell, so I don't know what that's going to mean. Gardner Minshew is there. But I think most of us expect there's going to be some urgency and there's going to end up being a quarterback taken somewhere. Now, there's some winds blowing of them being aggressive, maybe in the second round for a quarterback that I really like by the name of Michael Penix Jr. I think he's probably my third-ranked quarterback in this draft. I know some people don't like his age. Uh, I just think that means you're bringing somebody that's more mature in. He's certainly got the size I like, 6'3", 220. And um, so here we go. Also, uh, Antonio Pierce would love to get his hands on Jaden Daniels, but I just don't know how that would happen. The, the, the Raiders would have to trade the farm. I mean, uh, there's no telling what they would have to trade in order to get up to number two. So, groundwork for a trade, Las Vegas review. With every team's top decision makers, including Raiders general manager Tom Telesco in the same hotel for the next four days, the meetings are ripe for wheeling and dealing. There will be trades. There will be discussions had. There will be groundwork that gets laid and finalized, maybe not announced, during these meetings. The Bears locked in on Southern California quarterback Caleb Williams in the draft. So the Commanders, number two, Patriots, number three, and Cardinals, number four, hold the cards. It's no secret the Raiders have a deep connection to Louisiana State quarterback Jaden Daniels. Raiders coach Antonio Pierce recruited Daniels out of high school to to Arizona State, where he was the defensive coordinator and recruiting coordinator. They remain close. It makes sense that the Raiders have sincere interest in Daniels and are motivated to move up to draft him. That's interesting. Pierce is a critical piece in all of this. A self-described, quote, go-getter, he made it clear he will not hesitate to be aggressive to obtain what he deems necessary for the Raiders to succeed. Telesco understands his role in the building, a team in the image of his coach, so expect him to be aggressive in fulfilling those needs. That's interesting. All right, that is interesting because right here, NFL Network's Ian Rappaport thinks, quote, urgency is there for the Raiders to draft a quarterback. That's uh, that's some fire, folks. It is. Now, the problem is the Broncos are right ahead of them. They're going to draft a quarterback somewhere. According to NFL Network's Ian Rappaport, it's more likely to be the Raiders of the two more aggressive teams, Raiders or Broncos. It feels like the Raiders, with Antonio Pierce, the urgency is there from the head coach. Rappaport said this week, getting a quarterback makes sense because whatever happens this year, if you get the guy, you got a guy for at least 10 years. I don't know where it's going to be, and to me, it's going to be pretty hard to trade up but I think they'll give it a shot. So he believes they'll actually try to trade up. Whether or not they can make that happen, we don't know. Pierce has talked about not wanting to put a, quote, Band-Aid on the quarterback situation, but the Raiders can't afford to reach on a player with 13. ESPN's Matt Miller thinks the Raiders are more likely to lurk in the first two rounds and hope a quarterback falls to them. Okay, well, look. Uh, there's probably a quarterback that's going to go in the first four picks, right? Williams, a combination of Drake May, Jaden Daniels, or J.J. McCarthy for the next three picks. Uh, My gut feeling is commanders take Jaden Daniels. But that's the quarterback that Antonio Pierce would want. Now, 
there are some lines being drawn to other quarterbacks in this draft and the Raiders. All right, four-round mock draft just came out from NFL Network, Chad Reuter over there, and he's got the Raiders actually being aggressive, but in a later round, trading up into the top of the second round and drafting Michael Penix Jr. out of Washington. Now, there's some things I like about his game, no doubt about it. I love the fact that he threw the ball so much. 1,600, almost 1,700 attempts. 13,700 yards and almost 100 touchdowns. Now, there was a time when he was a dual-threat cat, all right? Uh, But he's not now. And he's firmly a pocket quarterback because of injuries. And that's the problem with Penix. I like him a lot. I think from a quarterback standpoint, uh, he's a guy that should be considered somebody that could, you know, drop into the late first maybe even. But I don't know that it's going to happen. They're worried about his age. I think he's going to be 25 or he is 25, um, 24 or 25, which now Drake May's 21. It's crazy, you know. But um, then you've got the two ACL injuries. Yikes. That's a concern. But purely throwing the ball from the pocket Uh, He's a very good intermediate and deep ball thrower. Maybe the best in the draft. And obviously, he's had a hell of a lot of practice at it, playing at Indiana and then going to Washington. It's a shame he got hurt because his pocket mobility and his ability to slide and roll out was much better before he got injured uh, with those two knee injuries. So I don't know. But that's interesting. You know, we talked a little bit about that early on that Antonio Pierce was really looking at Jaden Daniels. I don't know how they get up there. All right. I don't know how they get up there in light of what it is. Minnesota's already done. Now, if, if the following was to happen, let's say, and I do think this world exists. Caleb goes at one. Drake may goes at two. JJ goes to, the Patriots at three, then Jaden drops the four, you could see an in draft right there on the spot transaction for a team like the Raiders to try to move up to four and grab Jaden Daniels. But you're going to be fighting some other teams to do that too. The Giants would be one. I would think Brian Dayball, Jaden Daniels, after what he did with Josh Allen, That would be very interesting. The Giants like Drake May and view him as kind of a Josh Allen type. I don't know that I necessarily see that skill set. You know, Josh was, I think, faster. But Drake's got physical tools that can't be denied. There's no doubt about that. He's got the size, arm talent, fast enough, all that sort of thing. If he went, goes to the right offensive coordinator, Drake Daniels or Drake May may end up being something big. But if he goes to the wrong situation, he could bust right out of the league too, I, I think. It's going to be a boomer bust, and a lot of things are going to have to go right with the right scheme for Drake May, I think. So, interesting. Uh, so, that's multiple sources that believe the Raiders are going to do something involving a trade and aggressive kind of urgency move to get to a quarterback. We'll have to see. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.